Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. I have been debating on just like making this an entire weekend vlog, but I don't know. I'd rather have two like separate videos and just have them be shorter than just one long vlog. <sighs> I'm still debating. It might just be put in one vlog. But anyway, guess where I'm going? Cycle bar, which I don't go as frequently, but when I can go, I do go. And when I wake up early enough, I go. So that's like the determining factor if I go to cycle bar or not. I don't get to go as frequently. So when I do get to go, and the factors all, the stars all align, I go. Um, tonight, I'm going, I'm trying this new restaurant. I'm so excited. I've seen it on Instagram. I can't even pronounce it, so I'll just show you guys when I get there. But, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to go to this restaurant and see my friend. I haven't seen my friend London in so long, probably since my birthday. She's been really busy, I've been really busy, and yeah, the stars have not aligned for me to see her. And it's gonna just be good to like catch up. Um, I say like, she's like one of my friends that's like an independent friend, meaning like I have friends, but like there's kind of like groups. So like, I don't know, with one friend I have another friend or vice versa. She's kind of like a standalone cycle bar friend that I just kind of like do things with just her. Unless it's my birthday, then like all of my friends are there but yeah it'll be really good to see her that is gonna be today's vlog also i'm gonna try my new curling iron i'm so excited i hope i like do it right i might well i'll vlog it but i also want to put it on tiktok so i'm gonna use my octo buddy i'm so excited about that too because it's just gonna be nice um i have the two that like are stuck to each other so i can just stick it on my phone um, but I also ordered, I have a black iPhone case, so I ordered a smaller OctoBuddy thing to stick on that just to like have a case dedicated to like OctoBuddy if I wanted to. I think I might switch to that. I might do like a get ready with me on TikTok because I want to try the new OctoBuddy, so that'll be fun. And yeah, so I think that's about it for this rambly part. Again, I'm sorry. You could probably just skip over this if you don't want to see this part <laughs> but I feel like I just have to catch up with you guys we made it to spin I literally hate this hair I do not know why it's finally like growing but it's so annoying anyway I'm thinking I'm gonna get the chicken biscuit sandwich <laughs> I honestly I was craving it yesterday um, but I didn't get it and tonight I'm gonna have an early dinner So if I have like a late breakfast ish, which that would be the late breakfast Um, it's it's actually pretty filling so I might just wait until dinner. I mean, I might have like a little snack but um Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip the lunch because I normally have a late lunch And if I have a late lunch like yesterday, I wasn't that hungry. That's why I just got that salad So I'm thinking I'm just going to have a chicken biscuit and then like a little celery and chip snack and then I'll be hungry for dinner. Um, I actually want to get like a full like entree at dinner tonight not just like a salad like I did last night. So fingers crossed that I'll be hungry tonight. I think that's a good plan. Okay so I got my chicken biscuit. They're like oh well I always see in the line like best to eat within five minutes yeah it's been like much more than five minutes but i'm sure it's fine um and then my parents wanted some coffee cake so got the coffee cake sherry wanted um a tall americano her usual and valerie wanted her vanilla bean and then i got my coffee and i literally chugged this on the way home because it's just so so good it's like i don't mind picking up breakfast for my parents but like carrying it in is such a pain because i have like all this all of these like food items and drinks the drinks are probably the hardest for me to carry so yeah i might have to make two trips this time okay so this is my first attempt to use my octo buddy i'm so excited i'm gonna do the get ready with me video um oh my gosh it just fell because maybe it just doesn't like to stick and we need the adhesive because like on the mirror it it's on there we'll see i don't know i'll try to film it <laughs> um but i'm gonna do a like review on the mean girls movie 
and yeah um i just want to show you guys it's so convenient i don't have to like okay well maybe it won't stick that's sad okay it looks like i'm just gonna film this get ready with me for youtube because the thing wasn't sticking and honestly like doing the get ready with me's on tiktok are just like so much harder i was gonna just edit it in like uh an editor app instead of like the tiktok app it's just it's always so hard i'm not gonna do that also this eyebrow is like not turning out very good i can tell like the days they're gonna turn out good and the days they're gonna turn out bad and uh, yeah i don't know they're not they're just not giving today. It's kind of hard. I guess I'll just do like a TikTok about the restaurant. That'll be my TikTok. Okay, they turned out as okay as they're gonna turn out. I can always touch them up later, but I like to just have them as like a base for my face. Also guys, I got a new beauty blender. I got this a while back because they were on sale. I don't know if it was like home goods or something. It's amazing how these things grow with just a little bit of water. Like I think it's so funny. My eyebrows could be better, but I think it's fine for just tonight. Um, but this is the part. I just did like my normal makeup, nothing special. I chose to do the bronzer, which I didn't really blend too well. Okay, that's a little bit better. But anyway, um, I normally don't do bronzer because of like having to blend it so much. I just don't want to do it. Um, but I just did the normal makeup because it's light, easy. In other videos, I've shown you guys like what I use. But what I'm really excited about is my curling wand is going away. Well, I'm not gonna throw it away because I actually really like this. It's really easy to use and reliable, but I got my new curling iron for Christmas that I wanna try out. Um, it's brand new. It is the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium. I'll link it down below. It's part of my Christmas wish list. So I'll link it down below, but I asked my friend's maid of honor like what she used for her hair. This will not break your bank if you don't want to like get one of those other curling irons that are like hundreds of dollars. So hopefully this is easy to use and I'm going to try it out. Okay, I also wanted to show you guys, it has this little kickstand thing, which is really convenient because I always had to set my curling wand on this towel and obviously that's not safe. So I'm really happy that it comes with that. Now, I don't know when this heats up. I heated it up to 300. So I don't know if that's actually gonna be, I don't know if it's actually gonna tell me when it's ready. Hopefully it does. I'll look at the directions to see, but other than that, I have no idea. Hopefully it does. I actually have clean hair today. I like washed it and I didn't put any heat on it. Like I didn't dry it. So it's still, there's parts of it that are still damp, which probably, it's probably not the best, but I didn't want to put any heat on it. So I haven't used an actual curling wand like really ever on my own hair. I mean, when I was little, my mom would curl my hair. This is going to be the first time I've actually used it. I hope it's easier than the curling wand. I just think it will be easier because we have the clamp like I don't have to hold my hand okay so I don't know if it's actually heated up to like where it needs to be but I'm gonna assume that it's ready to use so I'm gonna take a strand this is so weird this is so bad of like okay so I know we take like a piece here and then oh that's kind of towards my face I don't really want it towards my face I want it away so I guess I'll do this. Okay, and this is a way. Oh, I got some extra hairs here. So like this, and then like keep twirling it. I'm so not used to this. Okay, okay, I'm gonna need to set this down to actually like be able to grab the chunk of hair. I mean, clearly it curls, but I need to like get equipped to 
how to do this. That's not bad. I'm trying to get like dupes of the Dyson Airwrap, which might not happen this time around, but I'll keep working towards it. So my hairstylist said to like curl it in and then not like, don't like unravel it, just like drop it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Oh, that one's actually really good. Once I get the hang of this, I think it'll be a lot easier and quicker for me to use this barrel because the other one just took me such a long time to do because I had to hold it with my other hand, but with the clamp, it's like so much more easy. <laughs> So got done with the first side and honestly I can't complain it's really nice but uh, it's definitely something to get used to like how the clamp works and stuff and I have to keep like putting it down to reposition it so I can't really like fully get a use of the stand I have this on 390 now I feel like I needed like higher heat setting because it wasn't like curling so I just turned it to that anyway I'm gonna do the next side now and we're doing good on time so far so i'll show you guys the completed look okay so i remembered kind of what my hairdresser and i've seen like other people on tiktok like show how to curl your hair like the right way and well i mean i've just seen it's just like a technique i guess but i think i've kind of mastered it it still takes me two hands to do it which you know it's fine but I'm going to show you guys kind of like how I do it. I don't untwist the hair because it'll give the beachy wave look. Like I'm going for like the Dyson like air wrap look more so. So it'll look like this rather than like, I don't know, something else. But you take your curling iron and you clamp it like in the middle. And then you turn your hair like this. And then you leave it there for a few seconds. And then you release it. And then I have other hair like caught in my hand. Um, then you turn it and then hold it for like a second or two. And then you release it just a little bit. So you see like the ends of this um, strand is um, shorter than it was before. And you just hold that for a few seconds and then make it loose again, wrap, and then after you've done this or whatever, then you either unravel it or I just drop it. But see, look at how good that looks. I'm actually kind of happy with it. I mean, I might have to go back and like touch up some curls, but other than that, like I'm actually kind of happy with this curling iron. It is gonna, ow. <laughs> it is gonna take some getting used to because like, again, I have to use like two hands for this. I'm very amateur, but I'm like starting to get the concept now. It just takes some practice. And if the hair goes too low, the clamp doesn't clamp it. So it's kind of, you know, you just have to get the placement right. You can't release the clamp too loose or else all the hair is going to come out. Um, yeah, so I really like the results. And if you do like the technique, then you're good. I don't know. I don't really like count how long, but I just like release it, curl it, hold it. Cause honestly, all my hair is not going to fit in this short barrel. Like this is a really short barrel for my hair, but it was the one that was on my list. So. Ba bam! Oh my gosh, that was a good one. So I'm happy with this, but I honestly thought it was going to be like, oh, I could just clamp it and then roll it with one hand. I guess that's not the case. It's cool. It's learning something new and fun. I'm almost done. Okay, guys. So this is my outfit. I absolutely love it. I was going to wear that jacket, but I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't think that's like the vibe I'm going for. And I don't think we're going to be like outside too much. So we're going to be in a restaurant and yeah, this is the fit. I am going to hopefully get like a cute picture for Instagram or something, but if not, it's fine. 
Um, I just want to catch up with my friend and have a good time. All right, I'm with London. It's been a while since I've seen, I mean, you guys have seen her, so. Yeah. She got her Diet Coke, and yes, it's Coke this time, not Pepsi. You remember that one time? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy Yay. We twin, just like our outfits. I don't know if you can see. She's wearing jeans. <laughs> but yeah, we got the same thing. What is this? Uh, the lamb. The lamb. Yeah, we got the lamb. Super cute. Okay, so I'm home now. Oh my gosh, that restaurant was like super cool. Uh, we're both like, London and I are really both picky eaters. So it was funny because like when she was showing me like the menu and stuff, she pulled up pictures and she was like, oh, this uh, option looks like a plainer option. And then we were like, you know, comparing and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I love restaurants like that. I think they're so cool and stuff, but I do get nervous about like, what they have to eat but like i know i want to experience the restaurant so like i'm not gonna like let that hold me back so even though i was like nervous i found something that i really liked and the lamb was actually really good and like whatever sauce they like put on it like you guys know i don't like a whole lot of sauce so i didn't put a lot on it but it was really good so yeah i would go back there maybe for like a special occasion because like it was a little expensive, but other than that, like, I mean, I kind of went in knowing that it was going to be kind of pricey, but I think it was totally worth it, especially for like a little girlfriend, like catch up and everything. And she was just like catching me up on her life. And like, I don't know, I was telling her about my job. So that was super fun. I love little outings like that. I must say those are like my favorite. Like, that's my favorite activity to do. Like, I love going to a nice restaurant and just, like, you know, talking with friends and eating good food and everything. So, I had such a good time. I think that's going to be it for this video. I know it's kind of, like, a rambly one, but tomorrow I want to edit this. And also, I want to um just not have to focus on vlogging because we're taking down the christmas tree and the inside christmas decorations tomorrow and it's so annoying like putting away christmas decorations is the absolute worst it freaking sucks like putting them up is fun and exciting you're like oh my gosh christmas but taking them down like that's why the first well not was it the first weekend? Like, I don't even know, but we tried to take down our outside decorations first and like prioritize that or else, you know, we didn't want, they're watching football. Um, we didn't want to uh, wait too long cause you know, the neighbors had already like put theirs away and everything. So yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love taking you guys to restaurants and stuff. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.